All right, so we have items. We have interaction. We have them being picked up. Now we need to add them to the player's inventory. So inside the player blueprint, over in the variables, we're going to add one called inventory. Now this is going to be, for its variable type, it's going to be item info, that structure that we set up, but it's also going to be an array. So over here in the details panel, right next to where it says variable type, you can click this little drop down and you can either have a single instance or an array which is a collection of instances so we want it to be an array so boom and then what we want to do is in our pickup function that we set up last time we want to this this is going to be yeah all right, so what we want to do is we want to find out the info of the item that we're trying to pick up. So we'll drag off and we're going to break it open. But first, we want to drag out our inventory, drag off it, and do a for each loop. So what a for each loop is, is it will check every single uh, instance inside the array or element it'll check every single element inside the array because we want to compare we want to see if what we're picking up matches something that we already have so off the array element we want to break it open as well so what we want to check is we want to check if the item class that we're picking up if the item class that we're picking up you can do it either way I'm just gonna do it so the item class we're picking up matches the one that we have or if the element that it's checking if it matches the one we're picking up uh, I'll get there eventually so then we want to check to see if the current stack of this item is less than the max stack that we can hold of that item and now to clean this up a little bit we can highlight this and hit hide unconnected pins and it will shrink it down to this do the same thing on that one because that's the only two we need to compare right here So off these two booleans, we want to make sure that they're both true. So I'm going to drag off one and type and. And this will compare both of these checks to see if they're both true. So then I'm going to add a branch of the loop body. I'm going to realize that I made a mistake. We do want a for each loop, but we want a for each loop with break. That's my bad. But hey, learning thing. So if you realize you've hooked something up wrong, if you hold control on the keyboard, left control, and then click one of these and drag it, you can rehook everything. So I'm going to do that real quick while I chastise myself. The reason we want the break is because if it finds the thing that we're looking for, then there's no reason to check everything else. They can just feed back through and tell it, all right, stop, go ahead and run the next thing. So I'm going to hook that up like that. So when we're checking the inventory, if we find something in our inventory that matches the class that we're picking up and the current stack of that item that we just found is less than the maximum stack that item allows, then we want to find out what index we found that out. So we're going to drag this over and promote it to a local variable. Now a local variable is different than a variable. A variable will be stored over here, whereas a local variable is only stored inside this actual function. So we're going to promote it to a local variable called item index. We want to hook this to the true. Now we want to find out the item that we found 
So we're going to drag off the array element that we found, drag it over, promote it to a local variable called found item or item found, whatever you want to call it. And then we want to add a boolean. So I'm going to add a local variable manually right here called found item question mark. Because if you remember, then booleans are a yes or a no question. Uh, we need to change this back to a single instance though. So under the variable type, just boom. And then at the very end over here, we will set that to true. Then we'll drag this all the way back to the break. And if you double click on any wires, you can add these reroute nodes. So I'm going to add a couple of them just to clean it up a little bit. Drag these up. Just kind of clean it up. So now I'm going to box select all this because I'm going to make some room by dragging all this this way. So once we have found an item and we break or we haven't found an item and it just completes, we want to do something based on whether we found that item or not. So I'm going to add a branch, hook it to the completed and say, did we find an item? If true, well, let's do if false first. So we didn't find the item in our inventory, but we still need to add that item. So we'll drag out our inventory. We'll add. Now this time you don't want the add unique. You want add. Because if you try to add unique, it'll say, you already have a health potion. You apparently don't want another. Just throw it away. But we want to add, so we want to add it. Like if we have one stack of potions, but it's full already, and we want to create a new stack, this will let us do that. So then we would just want to punch in that item info from right here. Then we want to get no 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 yeah 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 no we want to get so this will be this integer right here will be the index of the newly added item so we want to go ahead and get that then we'll break it open now I'm misspeaking we want to set array element the array element being that new one we just added then we want to break open we want to make item info while we break item info so the reason we're doing all this and being this pain in the backside right now we're gonna hook everything up except item index So after we add the item to our inventory and the in then we find it so that we can adjust the item index to its actual position inside the inventory. This will just be something that helps out later on. All right, but now if we did find the item, then we want to do very similar to this. We'll drag off and we want to set array element. We'll 
We'll drag out the found item. I'm gonna I'm gonna unhook that one. I'm just gonna add a new one out so that we can drag this all the way over. Make it a little bit neater. I mean, this is fairly sloppy, but it'll be at least a little neater. <laughs> so, off the array element, we want to make from the found item. We want to break. And you want to make sure you're using this one because this is the one that'll have the updated info being pulled directly from the inventory. So we'll set that right there. Let's see, let's drop this down, drop that down. Put that right there. You can either use this item index or you can use the one we set up there. I'm actually gonna use the one that I set up top. So then, just like last time, you'll hook all these up except for current stack this time. So max stack, item index, everything goes back into it. Except for, for current stack, we want to add. And we'll just add plus one right there to it. So it'll say, you found this item in your inventory, but you're trying to pick up another one. And you found one that was not a full stack, so we'll just take whatever we found there and add one to it, and then boom, there it is. I know it's a, it seems fairly complicated, but it's not too bad. Hopefully I'm, uh, hopefully I'm explaining things good. I, it's like 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm just going to clean some of this up a little bit. So yeah, so a little recap. What we're doing when we pick up an item, we're checking our inventory to see if that item already exists in our inventory. And if the item does, and we find a stack that's less than a maximum amount we can carry, then we're finding the index of that item info of that item remember you want to update you want to promote that to a variable because that one will have if you try to use this one to add to update the array element then it'll be it'll get stuck just always adding one or two and then skipping to the next stack it'll just it doesn't work right you got to make sure that you promote the one you find to a variable so that you can adjust it from there then we're breaking that function, coming down and saying, well, it finished checking every item in the inventory. Did you find that item? If not, then we're adding that item to the inventory and then updating that item to reflect the right index. Or you did find it and you're breaking that item open to say we're adding one to it before you set that array element. God, I hope I'm explaining this decently enough <laughs> so back out here we will save everything real quick and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, no the other way is outdated too but now we can check to see if we're adding items to our inventory by, I'm gonna do print string. These print strings come in handy, man. So off of the false, where we're adding the items to the inventory for the first time, I'm gonna say found new item, exclamation point. Off of this over here, I'm gonna do another print string called adding item to stack exclamation point so just gonna add a few more real quick to 
found new item. Adding item to stack. Adding item to stack. Adding item to stack. Found new item. So it seems to be working. And the next one we'll start setting up our uh, inventory screen so that we can actually see all the information of what we're picking up. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.